Welcome to Exploring Kentucky with Pat. I'm Pat. Welcome to my channel. I enjoy researching places and learning about their history. Please follow along with me on my recent location. The videos are just a brief story about each location. If you want to know more, please feel free to do more detailed research. And if you do, please share it with me. I would love to hear what you find. Camp Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky has many spooky tales and myths about it. But first, let me tell you how Camp Taylor started. Camp Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky was a busy military camp during World War I. Founded in 1917, it is named after Zachary Taylor, 12th President of the United States, who had ties to the Louisville area. The camp got bigger to fit lots of soldiers and become a place for troops to practice before going to Europe. One of the new soldiers was a young man called Jack Sullivan. Jack had never left his hometown of Lexington after finishing high school. The big camp was like its own world with a lot of barracks, fields for training, and places to eat. Jack made friends with his fellow soldiers and they had a good time talking and laughing while they trained hard. One cool autumn evening, Jack found an old oak tree at the edge of the camp by accident. Soldiers left their initials and dates on the tree's bark before going to war. Seeing Jack's initials, he felt motivated to carve his own. He hoped to come back one day and see them. The war finished and Camp Taylor was closed down. Jack lived through the war and came back home, but he never got to go back to the camp because life changed. Years later, when the camping area changed into a neighborhood where people lived, Jack's great-grandson found the same oak tree. He was interested in carving and discovered Jack's initials and the date. It was a sad reminder of a young soldier's strength and determination. Camp Taylor's memories continue through stories and memories from people who trained there for war. This shows the spirit of the soldiers who were there. Now that you know some history, here are the scary stories. During World War I, Camp Taylor was a place where soldiers went to train for war. It is believed that the ghosts of soldiers who died there are still present. People who have come to the area and people who live there have said they have seen ghosts of men wearing old military uniforms from the early 1900s. Spooky House People think that many of the houses in the area are haunted. They have heard weird sounds and seen doors opening and closing by themselves. They have also experienced other strange things they can't explain. Some houses have a lot of spooky things happening in them like ghosts and strange shadowy, shadowy figures. The Black Cat of Camp Taylor. There's a story about a mysterious black cat that shows up before important events, especially sad ones. Some people think that seeing a cat means something bad will happen. The Ghost of the Red Lady. People say there is a woman in a red dress who walks around the area. This ghost is called the Red Lady, and people think she is a woman who is looking for her lost loved one from the war. The stories make Camp Taylor seem scary, and people who like to learn about ghosts and frightening things are interested in it. Thank you for following along with me. I'm doing a series on other haunted and abandoned places like this. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you will be alerted when they are uploaded. Thank you for watching and I genuinely appreciate you all.